Welcome to a lesson of Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at how we can find length in three dimensions. First, let's think of a point in space, maybe like um, one, two, three. Okay, and think of how this is plotted. So we have an we have um, a z-axis, an x-axis, and a y-axis. Um, and a z-axis there. And I'm going to plot this by looking at one in the x direction, two in the y direction, and z is the altitude. We go three in the z direction. And you know, we can kind of draw right here kind of a box type shape and this is the, going to be the coordinate of one two three okay so the distance that this point is from the origin let's do that okay distance from there to the origin how do we compute that well first let's draw a diagonal right here first let's compute that length we know that's one and two using the pythagorean theorem we get the square root of one squared plus two squared. Okay, next, let's look at um, this triangle right here, which looks like it's square root of one squared plus two squared in the base. And the height of it right here is um, three. And using the Pythagorean theorem, we take that squared, which is one squared plus two squared, plus that squared plus three squared square root. Notice all we do is we just take this coordinate square, that coordinate square, that coordinate square, add them together, and that's the length. And that's how we find the length, particularly if you think of one, two, three as a vector pointing from here to here, that's how you find the length of the vector. In this case, that's one, it's nine is 10 plus four, so square root of 14 um, would be the length um, from there. Similarly, you could have also, we could have also thought of, thought of this, Think of this as a vector v. Um, in order to get its length, you could have think you could think of taking a vector v and projecting it onto the line where it is itself, and that should give you length. Well, that projection is just a dot product of this times a unit vector in that direction, so dotted with itself divided by its length, and you should get its length. From this very idea, just multiply both sides by the length. And you get v dot v is equal to the length squared. What's v dot v? You just square, it's just the sum of the squares of the components. Think one times one plus two times two times three times three. Then since it's squared, take a square root of both sides and you'll end up getting the length, which is exactly what we just did here. Thanks for watching.